it's those little things that make a company different, whether mm. from the boss to the senior people are not too big to stop and, ha and have a chat. Most South Africans find ourselves in a place where we need a bit of inspiration. We don't have to look far to find exceptional South Africans who have personal life stories that inspire. Join me for a cup of tea with Raymond Ackerman, the giant in the retail world. So, so we employ about 1,600 staff across seven cities. And you employ far more people. But in all the years, I always found that when you talk about the people, you are very passionate about the people who work in your business. Uh, one morning, I walked into the offices and as I walked into reception, I saw you come down the stairs where you just finished with a induction. And I thought by myself, a business this big should not have you as chairperson doing inductions. But then I caught myself in that, realizing that because you find your relationship with your staff is so important, that's why you do these things. Well, I think you have values and you, and you explain values to your staff. Yes. But from you to your top team, being able to say good morning to people, a lot of big bosses, they walk, around, walk in, important people, and they just ignore all the people around. I spend all my time, not all my time, I spend so much time just shaking hands, going into offices to say good morning before the day gets too busy. And I still do it now. And I, I'm officially retired, but I go into the office every morning looking after social responsibility and talking to people and phoning up people. But it's those little things that make a company different, whether from the boss to the senior people are not too big to stop and, ha and have a chat and you meet a tea lady and say, oh gosh, thank you for your tea, it was lovely today, or whatever it is. There's nothing like personal contact. And I try my best to have a sort of mental figure every day how many people I should say hello to, that I don't get too busy to go that extra, that extra mile. It means an enormous amount, because the people feel, gosh, that he really worries about me. And from that I've picked up, I mean, we, we picked up a, a young man recently whose wife was very really ill with, with a baby, having a baby, and uh, he was having trouble, she was having trouble, and by going around finding that he was depressed, I asked what was wrong and he told me, and we got, helped him get the baby delivered safely, paying, and I paid for the specialist which he, he couldn't really afford. Yeah. And I, you pick up a lot of things that troubles that people have. And then I, I ne I'll always follow it up with a call or a letter. One of our guys was badly damaged, hurt at Easter weekend. And he fell off the back of a bucky. He was with his kids going to a dam. And, he, and the, his wife was driving and he jumped in the bucky on the back, fell over and he's cracked his skull. And, I've been in touch with the wife and try to help in any way we can. And he and the wife and the, and the general manager in the area said, but Mr. Ackman, how, how do you know about him? How, and you're always phoning to find out how he is. It's just that I, try, I believe in our staff and try and make them know that they're not just a number. It's tough, it's easier to walk by and not shake hands and not find out people's problems, by the way. But, I've tried to do that and I've tried to inculcate that.